happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are having a wonderful week so far. Today's video is extra special to me because today is going to be my official shop video. So I'm going to announce my name that I've chosen and show you some of the charms that are going to be up on my shop and give you a little bit more information about when it opens and where you can go to buy them. But first, I'm gonna announce the winner for my giveaway last week. Right, so I'm on the random winner for YouTube and I'm gonna click start. And the winner is, bear with me here, Kimba Yankee. Or I guess Kimba Yankee fan, like the New York Yankees. Sorry, I just realized that that wasn't your last name. Um, but I wanted to include the original clip just so you guys know that I didn't edit out uh, the winner or there was no interference or anything. It was an honest uh, random draw. Congratulations, Kimba, for winning my 200 subscriber giveaway. Thank you so much for participating and thank you to everybody else who participated as well. I hope you guys had fun. And uh, I know I enjoyed reading about what you guys like to do in the summertime so that was uh it was fun to see kind of everybody's different take on that kim buff if you wanted to just head over to my instagram after this at planner mom i will leave the handle down below in the comments and just dm me your address and information and i will get your gift sent off to you this week enjoy if you didn't win this time uh there will be another chance and opportunity uh, coming up soon actually but it's going to be over on my instagram so if you wanted to follow me on there and keep an eye out. I just hit 2,000 followers, so I'm going to be uh, also doing a giveaway there to say thank you on that uh, platform. And yeah, it's been a really exciting week. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best, and I really appreciate it. Now on to the shop. Right, so now that the giveaway winner has been announced, I'm going to jump right into my shop information because I've been dying to share this with you guys and I can't believe the day is finally here. So I'm going to start with my name and kind of explain the process as to how I chose it and how it came to be. It is on a piece of paper <laughs> just because I'm still finalizing it on Etsy and I want the final reveal to be a surprise, uh, but it will be up and running tomorrow and open for sales. Monday, August 7th at 1 p.m. Eastern. So make sure to come back either here and check the comments for the shop link, or you can follow my new Instagram handle, Bambi's Treasure Trove as well. And uh, that way you won't miss out on any announcements or future releases, because I'm going to be doing a release in about a week or so with all the fall stuff too. So, I mean, uh, with all the Halloween terms. So this is, I don't know if uh, for you guys, this little saying here, a little charm goes a long way. That's what I believe. I believe that charms can make a difference and be personal and meaningful and cheer us up when we're feeling sad or need a little, little extra smile that day. And also on my YouTube channel, it says a little planning goes a long way. So I really do believe that a little goes a long way just in all aspects of life. And so I wanted to continue that uh, belief into my Etsy shop. And I picked... Um, this kind of theme which is like under the sea and my name is Bambi's treasure trove because I love the little mermaid it's one of my favorite movies of all time and I just thought that would be really a kind of a cool theme to do because I love collecting little things and and charms and and, and clips and that reminds me of like when Ariel you know collects all of her thingamabobs and who's it's and what's it's <laughs> so that's kind of where the theme came around for this and then the name i like how this is like a little seaweed looks like a little bit of seaweed there so when i saw that that was really cool and then this is supposed to like represent like a little bubble under the sea um bambi is my nickname and has been my nickname since i was a little girl um, only my closest friends call me it though and know it and this is how i always used to write it as a little girl i always used to make the bees capital um, believe it or not, there already is an Amber's treasure trove because <laughs> that was actually my first choice. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, I was a little discouraged. And then I thought, well, you know, let me look for my nickname. And that was the first one. So I wanted to pick something that was unique and not taken and special and meaningful to me. So that's the meaning behind the name, yeah, Bambi's treasure trove. Also wanted to pick something a little more open-ended. I didn't want to have planning or charms in the name just because I wanted to be kind of like open to a whole bunch of different collections over time. My goal is to get like maybe t-shirts, mugs, little planner bags, satchels, 
and maybe even stickers one day too if I can swing it. <laughs> but I just thought that I would start with the charms and see how it goes. I'm going to be doing clips and charms. So each item that you see should will give you the option to pick which one you want at the checkout. And so yeah, so I'm just going to run through the first kind of charms that I'll be releasing this week. And like I said, stay tuned in the next week or so as I will have my Halloween clips ready too, which are going to be, I'm super excited for as well. As some of you might already know, last year was a very difficult year for me and my family. Um, I had to take quite a lot of time off YouTube and Instagram and just from work and my friends. But I'm back and I wanted to turn kind of a negative thing into a positive situation. It was a very limited capabilities uh, for a long time. So I started just crafting because it's what I've always turned to ever since I was a little girl. I did planning, stickers, and then I started making some personal clips for myself as well because I didn't have the budget to buy any new stuff for a really long time. Uh, because my husband was the sole provider and he was working hard to take care of me while I was sick, taking me to my physio appointments, taking care of our two kids and our dog. He's been amazing and my rock and I wouldn't have been able to do any of this without him. So if you're watching, babe, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And so these first couple clips are very meaningful to me in my journey. My first clip that I had, which is to remind me what I've been through and that I have survived it, is warrior because that's how I feel <laughs> after having gone through everything I went through last year and still standing here today so for any of you who have been through or are going through something really hard I feel for you and is sending you some extra strength and love and hopefully this clip will remind you of that when you look at it and not to give up and that you're going to get through it it also comes with as I said I'm going to have a, a clip and also a charm as well. So for the charms, I have, like this is my little travel notebook. Um, I take it with me in my purse. And so I made these to kind of just fit on here. I just have like a little planner band and you can have your charms there. This one also has a little thing up here too, which I sometimes put my, which I sometimes use instead. So it's up to you guys where you kind of put these little tricky I just cut my nails yesterday so that's why it's a little tricky but so you can also put it up there if you have something like this and this one I actually got from Staples and it's actually a like a cover and you can actually replace the books so I keep this and then you just replace these as they get full and so you can also put it up there or on your planner bands where you want to put them so I'm just going to take that off and so that's how you can use it as a charm and then I'm fairly certain everyone knows how to use them as a clip, but just in case, I will show you how I use them. And yes, I am aware I have already <laughs> switched my planner over for fall because I'm very impatient and I am so over this summer with all the storms and the heat. So these are just some really cute fall clips that I got from Nani's Custom Creations. I'll link her down below. I have a lot of her clips. I really love them. She, they're such great quality and they're so cute. And so for these, then I just put them whatever page I'm on, let's say there, and you just put them on the bottom. And then that's where they, where they show. So that's how they're meant to be used. Of course, if you guys find any other way, any other place to put them, you're more than welcome to do so. <laughs> but that's just how I've been using them. And then the other thing that's been really important to me this year is my faith. I will be honest, there were some dark times and days where I didn't know if I was going to get through it and things felt pretty hopeless, but I somehow managed to keep my faith going and my hope. And so I wanted to have a hope to represent that as well. So there's a beautiful cross. And I like how it just like kind of dangles. And then of course I also did a charm version as well. So there's, there's the charm version. The other thing that was super important to me to get through this year was a family and love. I wouldn't have been able to do it without them, literally and figuratively. <laughs> they helped me not just with the physical stuff, but the emotional journey, the psychological aspect of it, and just were always there for me. So I think love and family 
no matter what form or shape it takes, super important. So I wanted to make a little heart clip to commemorate that. Another uh, important thing to me that helped me through this year was my dog, Harley. And she was absolutely amazing. She is just really, really, I don't know what is intuitive, but she's very sensitive to us and caring. And whenever any of us are sick, she will sleep outside our door all night. She will not leave our side for the day. She will lie down with us by the couch or wherever we're sleeping. And even though she's not an official therapy dog, we always joke that she's our unofficial therapy dog. <laughs> even when I was learning to walk, she would kind of come and stand beside me and help brace me on my way to the bathroom or kind of hold on to her in the middle of the night. I never taught her to do that. She just kind of did it, which was incredible. Um, and then for our kids as well, they she's been a huge calming presence to them as well, especially this year when I explain the next part of our journey. Our son this year was diagnosed with ADHD. There might also be an autistic overlap that we're looking into. We are waiting to see the specialist. With COVID, the delay is at least two years. And so we still have quite a bit of time to go. It's We had suspected something was going on for a while. However, this year, this past year, it really just was very obvious. And thank goodness that we had just moved and the new school that we are at right now has been incredibly supportive. They have incredible resources, not just for our son, but for us as well, as we navigate through this and learn all about it, which we never knew before. And he's come a long way and is doing much better now. And so are we. And so I feel like we're in a good place um, managing it. And, and so I wanted to represent that as well. But I know sometimes when he's overwhelmed or he's feeling stressed, he has noise canceling headphones, but he also will go and lie down with Harley and literally just sit with her. He'll sit with her and hum. He'll sit with her and just hold her while he calms down. And she, it's just incredible. So she has been just an amazing <laughs> uh, to all of us uh, in, in different ways. And then this is the charm for it. I made one actually for my son already and gave it to him and he was so touched. And uh, he was so happy that I told him, you know, like, it's not anything to be ashamed of. It's okay to be different. All of us are different, honestly, that none of us are the same, no matter what is going on. And I told him, you know, I want you to wear this with pride and, you know, be proud of who you are. The next charm and clip that I made is for, to represent autism. And I know that I think it used to be a puzzle piece. I don't know if it still is. I hope this doesn't offend anyone, but... I just really love this one and I love that there's a little puzzle and a little heart inside just to remind us that no matter where we fit or even when we don't fit in sometimes that we still deserve love, we still need to love ourselves and we're still incredible people. So I have a little charm for that as well. So if you know anyone, if you guys have, have these things, I just thought it would be kind of a nice way, like I said, to not only bring awareness, but also just to rock it, just to rock it, right? And then we also had some loss um, this past year. We lost, I lost my great uncle um, to cancer and we lost our grandma, great grandma. So I wanted to also make a charm, sorry, in their memory and just to anyone who's had a loss of any kind. Whether it be miscarriage or somebody's passed away, um, which I've experienced both. And so this little, this little wing just reminds me, reminds me of that. And I remember when our Baba Babagila passed away, this is one of the first things that I, I made and it just helped me feel calm and peaceful and looking at it just rem reminds me of her and makes me happy. Uh, she's not completely gone and, um... Part of her spirit is still with us, watching over us. And then I also have a little charm for that as well. I'm not sure exactly how that stuff works, but I just like to believe that no one's 100% gone. I mean, nobody really knows. So, I mean, whatever you believe, you know, that's what you believe. And then to that note, I have a little um, cancer or even, even a... Um, 
doesn't have to just be for cancer. It can also be for serious illnesses or diseases. Um, there are a lot of colors and one day I hope to carry all of them. I do have some pink breast cancer ones that are ordered that are going to be here for October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And also I'm going to be getting some green ones for the mental health awareness, which is also super important to us. And But this one is a hope, a general hope one, so you could use it for anything. Um, just to remind yourself again, just to never give up and to stay strong no matter what you're going through. And there's another little charm as well. And that is for kind of my core charms. Um, these ones will be available all year round and they are very personal to me and um, if they're personal to you and they mean something to you, hopefully you can enjoy them as well. Or if you know someone who's going through a hard time, like a friend or a family member, you can always uh, get them one of those charms as a gift for them to help cheer them up as well and remind them that you're behind them and they're not alone. I feel like that was a little bit of a heavy start to the video, but I'm going to get into some fun fall clips now. So hopefully if you've stuck around this long, you can see some, the next round of charms, which are super cute and not as heavy. <laughs> so my favorite animal, I have two favorite animals. I love foxes and I love owls. Unfortunately, I couldn't get owls here in time or bears. I had some little bears coming that were super cute, but they're not going to be here for another week. So, but in the meantime, my foxes did come in and look how cute they are. I'm literally dying. So this is my fox charm for fall. I'm literally obsessed with this. I, he's so cute. The bears are super cute too. Um, and the owls are by the same company. So they kind of have little, little bobble head, little poofy head kind of. And then they have like a really cute face, but obviously yeah, it's a bear and an owl. So, but I just have the foxes so far. If anybody else loves foxes as much as I do, even in my my planner, I had a fox if you noticed from before. And then the next fall charm that I made was a mushroom, because um, it just reminds me of like gnomes and fairies, and or also the Mario movie this year if you if you enjoyed that, which we saw and loved, and it was super cute. So we got some mushroom clips, which like just like woodland, fitting with the woodland vibe with the animals and stuff like that. So and I have a charm and clip of each of those. It's my birthday in September and also my daughter's birthday. So I also made us uh, some birthday charms, which are some cute little pink cupcakes. And so these ones have a little bit more shape to them, whereas the other ones that I made were a little bit more flat. But these ones are a little bit bigger. I'll hold them up for a comparison. So you can see a little bit bigger, a little bit poofier, a little, a little cuter. And then I have a charm as well. There you go. And there's like a little, a little heart sprinkle on top. We always put sprinkles on our cupcakes. So I thought that was very fitting. Another important thing that's happening back in September is back to school. So I thought that I would also include these beautiful apples. I'm trying not to get so much glare on it. Um, but these are really pretty and these have a little bit of a gold background, uh, a gold backing. And I thought this would be kind of a fun way to celebrate going back to school. So if you know any teachers in your life or you are a teacher or you just like apples, <laughs> uh, we love apples. Kids have one every day and we're looking forward to going apple picking when we're able. You can get that for them or for yourself. And then this is the charm. Again, sorry for the glare. Have some, you'll be able to see the pictures and the listings a little bit better up on my website. And then another thing that I love that's good all year round, but I just thought was super cute, is coffee or tea. <laughs> and this one says, I guess, cafe or coffee. The daughter just calls him tea cat. <laughs> so just a little adorable little cat just peeking out of a cup. It's like a little kitten. And um, we love drinking coffee and tea. So, and I thought just with Halloween coming too, that'd be kind of a cute addition to the shop. Also, I have some takeout coffee cups that are coming soon too, but they didn't make it in time for the opening. But they should be here within a couple weeks. And then that's the charm. Super cute. Another thing that kind of reminded me of like a fall is this moon and star. Just because like with 
our birthday's coming up and like astrology and we all love space. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to include one of those. And then there's that one. And then the last charm that I have for now, as I said, I'm going to be releasing my Halloween ones in about a week or so and also adding some bows as well is just a little pearl and just a simple classy little fake pearl there. It's got like a little silver detail there and I just, I like pearls. I just like the way they look and I like the little classy vibe that they give anything you add them to. So I thought that I would include one for my planner as well or for your planners, I guess, if you're going to be buying them. The last item that I'm going to be offering on my shop for now is a loot bag. And I wanted to make, I didn't want to make mystery charms, um, although you will be getting a free charm with every purchase. These uh, I will be giving away for free for the first 25 uh, orders that go through. So the first 25 of you who order will automatically get one of these with your purchase as well. After the release day, I will load these onto my shop for purchase. And I debated whether or not to make this a known loot bag or a surprise and I decided to make it a mystery loot bag just because I thought that would be fun and I feel like sometimes as planners we always know what's going on so it's really nice sometimes to not know and um, if any of you guys are like me I do all the planning for my family and even our parents <laughs> help with their appointments and that sort of thing so I do it's really hard to surprise me so I thought that I would offer this surprise to you guys I can I will tell you what's inside and it will be changing seasonally so I already have my Halloween bags ready to go and Christmas as well and there's some super super cute stuff inside so every single one will come with a portable journal uh, or a little, little journal notebook. It will come with a planner band, a magnetic bookmark, a, a roll of washi tape, a waterproof decal so you can decorate your water tumblers or your planner or laptop, that sort of thing. Um, a couple of little stickers, a free charm that I've made so you get a freebie that won't be available in my shop. So those ones will be unique and you'll only be able to get those in the loot bags. And it will also come with two gel pens. It will come with a black one and a colored one. Again, a uh, totally random color. And you get a different one every time. And yeah, I'm thinking about maybe adding in some a motivational pencil as well, which is just like, would be just like a pencil. And then it would say like, you know, you're awesome or you've got this or slay girl or something cute like that. Cause I do love motivational stuff like that. And I just thought that'd be super cute. But if I do decide to add those, those will be in the Halloween loot bags. They won't be in um, this first round. So let, let me know what you guys think. That's it for today's video. And that is it for my first round of charms. I hope you guys really like what you see. I hope that some of these spoke to you as well, either to your personal journey or if they're just super cute, which is also okay. But um, charms, I know some of my friends who aren't planners like, oh yeah, you know, they're just pretty, but they're not just that for me and they never have been. So that's why I wanted to include some motivational charms and some meaningful charms as well. Make sure to come back tomorrow, Monday, August 7th at one o'clock Eastern to get my Etsy shop link, or you can just follow my handle, which will be Bambi's treasure trove. And I will be announcing the grand opening on there as well. Thanks again so much for your support guys. I am looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.